Hello everybody, praise be to God, and welcome back to another episode of Sablems. So, please ignore the noise that's happening above me. Do not... Someone is playing a sport of some kind in the study room right above me, apparently. Anyhow, we're continuing with the Meg Sebites rank today. We're on, first off, level 2, the target training course. Reason that this level had no exit was because I was using an outdated version of the tile set, which means that person who made the tile set changed the order of several crucial objects, which is a big no-no in the lemmings community. Anyhow, target training course. We can kill five lemmings. So this makes more sense. Each of these is a button. So we're going to hit all the buttons and reach the exit. Ideally. That is some weird music. Cool, cool. Oh. I'm sorry, you will float. Yep, sure enough, you hit the button. Cool. Let's get an athlete. This is the second level, so it should be very easy. Alright, this one's simple enough. Turn around, hit that. Yep, this level's easy enough. Which I mean, level 2 of the rank. It's only natural. through there, climb up, hit that button, sweet. So now that's the last button we have to get, that's easy enough though. We're gonna bash through here, and then last lemming in the group is going to dig down through here, fall to his death. This is some weird Chinese music as well. Sorry, little lemming. But everybody else can go to the exit now. Alright, so that's level 2. So now we're skipping ahead to level 12, which is the level I'm actually on. Sebfires. Wow. Nice play on the word sapphire there. Alright, flop, waff, neps. Oh dear. Nepster played a role in this solution. That's not good. And it's a hard for flopsy level, too. Kind of. Except the hatches are divided into two different groups. Hatch on that side should be good. And I guess the hatches aren't in any real danger. Oh, the side, this side isn't there. Not good. That is a lot of platformers. What happens if I stack right at the beginning? Bad stuff, okay. Ooh, 
this is gonna be a hard one. Let's try stacking at the beginning instead. So that keeps them penned in. Now can we do something weird with these guys or something? Probably. So I think walking and stacking at the start is what you're supposed to do. That just seems like a good idea. One builder. Great. I'm just gonna try some stuff. Making our way up here is going to be very difficult. Actually, it's going to be impossible. So instead of going through like that... We're going to take a slightly different route. Well then. 
I feel like I'm doing some of this right anyways. Oh, I did not mean to push the nuke button there. If I had one extra destructive skull, I, this solution actually would have worked. Here we go. That'll save us a skill. Flopsy does like his release rate timing puzzles. Alrighty. One basher we used for there. So 
so we can use a platformer there. Builder plus platformer. Let's try this. What if we sh shave the top off like that? So then if we platform over to this... Ah, not enough. Uh, understandable, though. I feel like I'm on the tip of success, though. Is there a way to save a platformer somewhere? Doesn't look like it. Because we're going to need the platformer to get up in there. So we really only have one platform to use to get over all this stuff. Which isn't going to work. So we'll have to go to the drawing board. They can walk up here. Oh, that's clever. That is really clever. Okay. I really like that level. That was a really cool solution. I, I love how you use the terrain to your advantage there. So that was really awesome. Well done, Flopsy, Waffle, M, and Nepster on that one. Very fun. Very enjoyable. Level 13, running circles around the moon. Oh, I think this is the first, one of the first Lemmings 2 polar levels I've ever played. We can kill three Lemmings today. Waffle made the terrain, Flopsy made the solution. Well, this is a freaking huge level. The very good use of the polar tile set. Oh my gosh, this level's massive. But pretty limited skill set, all things considered. So... So I think there's going to be trouble right off the bat. Oh, there's not. Well, I mean, they're walking to a bottomless pit, so there's trouble in that regard, but they're not in danger of splatting. That's... oh, that's an interesting trap. That's like a snow machine or something? I'm gonna go I'm on a whim and say that we probably have to go up this mountainside? The builders here are going to be the real rarity. We'll put a blocker down here. So I'm going to focus the first on this hatch.
Alright. Jeez Louise, what are people doing up there? Then we could just dig and bash, yeah. This looks pretty solid. So we're going to lose those two blockers. And then this guy. But that's... I mean, one was a builder there. We're gonna delete that. And instead, we'll make him dig. Come on. Oh, yeah! Check that out. <laughs> Who's the splatting now? Oh. They're a splatting now. That's an easy save, though. Oh, actually, wait. Hang on. Oh, this is clever. Yes, we get it. You're upstairs. You're allowed. Please stop. All right. I see. I see. I'm gonna have to find a way to get another lemming to come with him. That'll be a bit tricky with these skills. Because my plan was blow up that guy, blow up that guy. Except that's going to result in all the lemmings coming up too soon and then coming back and dying a most terrible death. I'm just going to assume that that takes two builders. Yeah, that takes two builders. That's okay. I'm pretty close. I can feel it. Get one lemming walking this way. If we could cut the height and put the blocker back farther, and potentially get two lemmings up over that.
This is a, such a tricky level. Alright. Even further black back, the blocker must be. Of course. That's just annoying. Alright, let's try something completely different. One pixel farther up for a mine. I think I'm more or less in the same situation as I was before.
So those two lemmings are lost. And I have to lose a lemming up here as well to turn them around, either with a blocker or a bomber. It's my choice. Problem is I can't have the lemmings go down the rest of the hill. Forming, I'm wondering if there would be a way to save like a destructive skill, like a miner or something. So that way I c Yeah, actually, let's try that. That's it. Well, maybe not quite. Deleting the first blocker. Moving the blocker a bit farther. Problem, they're not going to survive that fall. Hmm. 
Doing that would save a digger. I don't see a whole lot of what good that would do, though. If we lose a lemming in the process. If I could get another lemming past there, past those blockers. That's where my mind is at right now, trying to figure out a way to bypass the blockers with an extra lemming coming from up here. Like the last lemming coming from up there could like mine or dig or something to get down here. Almost positive you want to dig bash on this side just so those lemmings don't fall into the snowblower. A blocker trap does really seem like a good idea for here. <laughs> Two bashers for there is necessary. Something to turn the lemmings around up here is also necessary. If we have a digger up there, we could do a dig plus block to turn them around, and then we can use the blocker, or a different blocker at the very bottom. Never mind.
And this is my best effort on solving the level. But that's not enough. That is just not enough. Let's try... I have an extremely cunning plan. So we're gonna do it just like last time. Okay, I gotta line these blockers up just right. Now we start mining through all this. We mine under that guy. He starts going ahead and he can carve the path. And because we undermine those two blockers, we have that guy's gonna die, that guy's going to die. But we can afford to kill another lemming. We need to. Uh, it's not enough time. Because we. I could put a blocker down there and bomb up here, but that's too. Again, killing too many lemmings because this guy's gonna die. It's, I don't think it's going to be just this simple, but a very simple idea just occurred to me. What if we just do something... Okay, that doesn't stall them nearly enough. Had to try it, though. That's easier. We just build straight out to the right. And pray that a lemming doesn't fall down, but he definitely will.
He does survive, though. This is unacceptable. You do want the lemons to be let out early. That'll stop them from turning around. I think that's the steepest part. And now they're going to start splatting here. Oh, and they don't even make it anyways. Lovely. Alright, we need less of a gap between them. That's easy enough to solve. I'll just have him bash for more stuff. Or rather, spend longer to bash. Yeah. try to do is block from such a point that they'll be easy to mine out. But so that way the miner doesn't keep going on and on and on. Perfect. Now we let these old fogies go up. There we go. Mine from just the right point to free the blocker and he stops. Nobody splats, everyone goes up to the exit, and this guy will be able to be blown up. Wow, that was two fantastic levels today. The first one was alright, but I mean, it was a basic intro level. Woohoo! Very well done. Very well done on all the levels today. That's all the time we have for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Colorful Arty. Tune in next time. We'll be continuing with the Meg Sebites rank, and we may even encounter some levels that I've already played before. We'll have to wait and see. Have a great day, and God bless.